Well, this seems to suggest that Intel is probably going to make an exit from discrete graphics, especially in the gaming PC market. And this is very, very, very unfortunate because the more players we have, more competition means innovation and means lower prices. However, that's not the way things are trending. AMD has said they're not going to compete with NVIDIA on their top tier video cards. So now if you want a top tier video card from NVIDIA, you're going to have to pay the asking price, which with their new 5090, which is going to be released next year, will probably be thousands and thousands of dollars just for a video card for gaming, which is totally ridiculous. However, it is what it is. The CEO of Intel is saying that they're going to move focus away from discrete GPUs into integrated graphics solutions. Boo, boo, boo on every single level. Integrated graphics is fine for grandma, but it's not fine for gamers, especially hardcore gamers that want discrete GPUs, video cards that are going to do very well in games because that's what you're using it for. And that's what you built your system for, right? So it's very disappointing that the ARC lineup looks like, well, it could be the end. I don't know. It, it certainly, if they're moving towards, you know, integrated graphics solutions, they're not going to be pouring as much research and development and money into discrete graphics. So it's uncertain what is going to happen. And this new Battle Mage generation of video cards that a lot of people were excited about might not happen. So, you know, it's really too early to tell if Intel is going to abandon the discrete GPU market. But I think the writing is on the wall, really. What do you guys think?